In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Baby AGI with Langchain in Node.js in just a few minutes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head over to the OpenAI website. So if you haven't made an account already, just go over to platform.openai.com. Once you made an account, go to the top right hand corner, click view API keys, and then from there you'll be on this page. Simply create a new API key and then copy that into your clipboard. So once you've done that, we're going to go over to a, a new project. So here I already have some of it initialized, but what you're going to do is right off the bat, you're going to npm init-y and click enter. So that will give you your package JSON. So once you have your package JSON set up, just go in there and make sure that you add the type of modules since we're going to be adding imports. So just add this one line here. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and install our dependencies. So we're going to npmi.env and langchain. So those are going to be the two dependencies that we use for this. So once you've done that, um, you're going to make an index.html and a uh, .env. So if you want to do that from the terminal, we can just say touch.env and index.js. So once we've done that, we're going to go into our .env. I'm not going to pull that up on my screen, but what you're going to do is you're going to type in all caps, openai underscore API underscore key equals, and then paste in that value that you have in your clipboard. So once we have that set up, we're just going to go into our index.js. And the first thing that I'm going to have you do is import the dependencies. So as you see here, we have uh, .env and then Langchain, as well as we're just structuring a couple um, or a handful of things rather from their library. So we're going to be using the experimental baby AGI uh, implementation that they have. We're going to be uh, including the vector stores that we're going to use in memory. We're going to be using the embeddings from OpenAI in this example. And then we're also going to be leveraging OpenAI's LLM in this example. Um, we actually don't need the FS. I'll just leave that for now, but uh, in case you do want to interact with your file system, you can include that as well and then just continue on from this example once, uh, once you're done here. So the first thing that I'm going to have you do is create a new vector store instance. So in this case, we're not going to be tying in Pinecone or any external database. We're just going to create the vector store locally. Uh, in memory. So uh, what do I mean by that? So instead of actually calling a database or writing to a file uh, to our system, we're going to have the vectors. And what, what do I mean by that if you're not familiar with vectors? So vectors are a numerical representation of the relatedness between two words. So if you think about uh, a number, if you say, uh, let's say two zoo animals, um, those would have a higher relatedness, presumably than say uh, animals and the uh, copy machine, for instance. So that's a little bit under the hood how this is actually gonna work, um, but not to uh, rest on this too long. Uh, then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create our new baby AGI instance. And it's as simple as this. So in this case, like I mentioned, we're going to use uh, OpenAI's model for this, but you can use other models if you want. Uh, we're going to use our vector store like we have declared above and like I just talked about. And then I'm just going to set the max iterations to five. So this is a nice... Um, feature or implementation in the library where you can specify, okay, I only want it to go um, five iterations of what it's going to do so it doesn't run recursively and you run up some gigantic charge on your API key and whatnot. And then from there, we're just going to simply call baby AGI. So in this one, I'm going to say, return me the temperature in New York today in Celsius. So if I just go ahead and go to our terminal here, type node index.js we can just ignore this uh, fetch warning here but you'll see right off the bat we say okay it's gonna its ne next task is to make a to-do list you can see the task result and we can just watch this for a minute and see see what it generates so it's less about the example of um you know, trying to have an impressive example to show you, but once you have it, you can start to play around with this. So um, a couple of things I've noticed is if you put in the objective that you want to have this done in as few uh, tasks as possible, I have found that to help speed things up because sometimes even for simple questions, it will run through like a very verbose 
um, list and uh, list rather uh, and go through quite a few tasks for something that might seem pretty simple. So if I look today, we can see, okay, in New York today, uh, the temperature is 26.7 degrees. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.